Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mackenzie if you're new to my channel, as well as also if you're new to my channel, make sure to click the red button down below and subscribe to my channel so you're updated when I post a new video. As well, I created this summertime glam look, so I paired this bright red orange lip with this bright eye look. And to create the eye look, I used the Jaclyn Hill palette that she created with Morphe, and I absolutely love this palette. So if you'd like to see how I created this makeup look, then just keep on watching. First taking the Porefessional Primer by Benefit, I'm going to apply this to my face to fill in all my pores. Next I'm going to take one of my favorite foundations, the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation, and I'm going to apply this to my face using my Beauty Blender. Sometimes since this foundation is so full coverage, I will put some on my finger and use it as concealer instead of using a different product. So that's what I'm going to do today. Concealer. I use this stuff all the time. I feel like it is great for under your eyes. It also helps brighten up the under eyes because it's meant for dark circles. So I think it's a fabulous product. Now to set my under eye, I'm going to take the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. And I'm just going to tap some into the lid and apply it to my under eye with my Beauty Blender. To prime my eyelids for the eyeshadow I'll be using, I'm going to be taking this MAC Paint Pot in the shade Soft Ochre. And I'm just going to be using my ring finger and applying it to my lid. Now to set the rest of my face and my eyelids, I'm going to be taking the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder on this Still Spa Essentials Powder Brush. So I'm going to be taking the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer, and this is in the shade Light. So this is the lighter one of the two that they sell. And I'm going to be applying it using this e.l.f. Angled Blush Brush. And I love this bronzer. This is like the perfect bronzer. I haven't put it down since I bought it. So if you're looking for a good bronzer, definitely recommend this one. Onto my face, I always use this NYX blush in the shade Taupe. It's just this perfect cool tone brown shade, and for my pale skin, it is the perfect color to contour my face. So to contour my cheekbones, I'm going to be using this Real Techniques um, foundation brush, and I like the angle of it to do my contour. And then to contour my nose, I've been getting into contouring my nose, so. I'm going to be taking this e.l.f. eye crease brush. I just like how it's so small and like I can be very precise to contour my nose. So that's what I'm going to be, that's what I'm going to be using to contour my nose. This is one of my favorite blushes and I think it's perfect for summertime. So I'm going to be applying it 
with this face contour brush by the brand K. <laughs> Now for my highlight, I'm going to be taking this Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in the shade Opal. I use this all the time to highlight my face. I love it. And I'm going to be applying it using this e.l.f. powder brush. Now for my eye look today, I'm going to be using the Jaclyn Hill palette that she created with Morphe. I absolutely love this palette. I'll just show you what it looks like. The reason I love this palette so much is because you have so many different colors so you can create so many different looks with it. And I like, I am really glad I got this. But for example, I live in Canada. So this is $38 US. And so if you're in US, I don't see how there would really be an issue with buying it because like you pretty much just pay that plus regular shipping. But since I'm in Canada, I had to pay 38 US plus 24 US for shipping. So once that com was converted to Canadian, that was like $89. And then I also had to pay a duties and taxes fee, which was like $17. So after all this was said and done, this costed me over $100. And no, I don't regret it because I love this palette. But that's something to consider if you do live in Canada. Like, this is the most money I've ever spent on, like, any makeup product ever. So if you do live in Canada or a different country besides the U.S., I do absolutely recommend this palette because it is great. Just consider the fees and what it's going to cost you before you do decide to buy it. So the first shade I'm going to be applying to my eye is this shade right here called Silk Cream. It's like this beautiful tan color, and I'm going to use it as a transition shade in my crease. And I'm going to blend that into my crease using this Still Spa Essentials eyeshadow blender brush. Now taking this chocolate brown color right here, it's called Mocha. I'm going to be blending this into my crease as well and I'm just going to concentrate it a little bit lower than I did Silk Cream in my uh, crease. And also I'm going to be taking this e.l.f. eye blender brush to blend that into my crease. Next, taking this very dark brown shade, it's called Central Park. I'm going to be blending this into the outer V of my crease just to deepen it a little bit more. I'm going to take this shade right here, it's called Beam. It's a perfect shade for highlighting or to put all over your lips, so that's what I'm going to use it for today. I'm going to apply it using my ring finger all over my lid, and then I'm also going to use it to highlight my inner corner and my brow bone. take that Still Spa Central Splendor brush and just blend that out. So now taking this e.l.f. eyeshadow C brush, I'm going to use it to highlight my brow bone as well as the inner corner of my eye using the same shade that is called Bean, so the one I put, just put on my lid. Now I'm going to take this Real Techniques Accent brush and I love this brush to um, put shadow on my lower lash line just because it's so tiny and I'm going to take this The same chocolate brown mocha shade that I used earlier in my crease and I'm gonna apply that to my lower lash line Now I'm gonna apply eyeliner to my upper lash line and I'm just going to draw a thin black line across it. I don't want to do anything too dramatic today. So I'm going to be taking this Essence Super Fine Eyeliner that I use all the time to do the inside of my lash line, like the inner corner. And then I'm going to take the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Eyeliner to do the rest. Now to brighten up 
my eyes and make them look a little bit bigger, I like to take this NYX Wonder Pencil, it's in the shade light, and I like to put it on my uh, waterline. So for my lashes, I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara for my top lashes just because it's very black and I'm going to be putting on fake lashes so I just want them to blend in with the fake lashes. And then for my bottom lashes, I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Telescopic Carbon Black Mascara and this has a very fine brush so it'll just allow me to get into those um, very small lower lashes that I have. Since this is a summer glam makeup tutorial, I like to wear bright lips in the summer just because it's summertime, it's sunny out, and I just think bright lips goes with summer. Anyways, so I'm going to be applying this Bite Beauty. It's called a Matte Creme Lip Crayon, and it's in the shade Pesh. So it looks just like this. It's like this beautiful red orange color. And then the cool thing about this is that if you ever want to sharpen like your lip crayon to make it more sharp to make it easier to apply if you pop off the bottom there's like a little sharpener thing here that you can sharpen it with so i think that's really cool i've never used it before because i don't want to waste the product because i love this but if you ever do want to do that there is this option very bright lip color and I love it for summertime and to finish my face off before I apply some fake lashes I'm going to spray some fix plus on my spray so it'll just help like melt everything together and make it look less powdery and just kind of like it just makes your face all around look a bit better so next to finish this off I'm gonna be applying these Ardell soft touch lashes they're in 162 black I use these fake lashes all the time, they're my favorite ones, so I'm just going to go ahead and apply them and I will be right back. So this is the finished makeup look. I think it is perfect for the summertime. I think you could wear this to a lot of different events that you go to in the summertime as well as a lot of different places you may go to. And I think it's just perfect because it's very bright and fun to wear. As well as I'm very excited that I just set up my whole new vanity. So I have like a new vanity mirror with vanity lights and I'm just in the process of getting all my makeup organized. So stay tuned for that because I'm going to be posting a video on like kind of like my makeup organization and my whole vanity area because it's like it's my place that I love to go and sit down and it just calms me down and I love makeup. So I'm glad that it's finally all coming together and I can't wait to show you guys that. So if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up as well as subscribe to my channel. Then you'll just be notified when I post new videos. And yeah, I will see you next time. Bye guys.